So today we're going to be having a look at prime factor decomposition. Okay, so we know our prime numbers are numbers that are only divisible by one and themselves. So for example, two, three, five, seven, and 11. Okay, so these are the main prime factors we're going to be having a look at. We also know how to do factors. Factors are two numbers that multiply to give you a certain number. So let's jump straight into a question. I need to create a prime factor tree for the number 42. Okay, now the easiest way I'm going to start this off making my tree is I'm going to look at the smallest prime factor that goes into 42. Okay, so the smallest one is 2. 42 divided by 2 is going to give me 21. Okay, so I've got 42 divided by 2 gives me 21. Now, the smallest prime factor that goes into 21 is not 2, but 3. Okay, so 21 divided by 3 is going to be 7. Now, 7 is a prime factor and it only goes into 7 and 1. So I'm going to split it into 7 and 1. Now, once I hit the 1, I can end my prime factor tree and all of this row is going to be my prime factors, okay? So, 2 times 3 times 7 is going to give me 42, okay? So, 42 as a product of its prime factors is 2 times 3 times 7. Let's do another example, 18, okay? Now, it's easier to start off with the smallest prime factor because it just makes it easier to work out so i'll show you how to do it and how maybe not to do it as well okay so the big the smallest prime factor that goes into 18 is 2 18 divided by 2 is going to give you 9 now the smallest prime factor to go into 9 is going to be 3 9 divided by 3 is 3 um 3 only goes into 3 and 1 now that i've ended at 1 i can just circle this side of my prime factor tree and 2 times 3 times 3 gives me 18, okay? Now, this can be simplified. Because there are two 3s, I can say 2 times 3 to the power 2. This little power means how many times I, that I have that 3 and how many times it's being multiplied by that 3, okay? Just to shorten it will give me 18, okay? Let's do a few more examples. So, a prime factor tree for 80, Okay? So, the smallest prime factor that goes into 80 is 2. 80 divided by 2 is 40. Smallest one that goes into 40 is 2. two 40 divided by 22 is 20. 20 divided by 2 is 10. 10 divided by 2 is 5. Now, 5 is a prime factor, so it only splits into 5 and 1. Now that I've hit the 1, I can circle this. And I've got 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 5 is equal to 80. Now, I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 2. So, I can just write 2 to the power 4 multiplied by 5 is going to give you 80. Now, when you get a prime factor tree, you could do this. However, it will make it difficult for you to understand. So, 80. Now, two numbers that multiply to give you 80. Straight away, we know 8 and 10. Now, I can do these separately. The factors that go into 8 is 4 and 2. However, 4 can split to give me 2 and 2. The 10 will split to give me 5 and 2. Sometimes you get confused at which ones are the bottom. In this case, I would know it's all of these. Okay? So sometimes some trees, some stems might be longer than others and you might get confused about which ones are at the bottom. Okay? In this case, the answer will still be the same. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 5, which is 2 to the power 4 multiplied by 5, giving you 80. So 80 as a product of its prime factors is going to be 2 to the power 4 multiplied by 5. This way is much neater and much easier and you're less likely to get a mistake, okay? This is usually the first question in a GCSE exam paper, okay? I, when I sat my exams a few years ago, it was the first question that came up, okay? Let's do one more example, a harder number this time. Uh, actually, uh, let's do two more harder numbers. Let's do 120 and 150, okay? You're going to need to know how to do prime factor trees for upcoming topics, okay? So I'm going to split this into 2. 120 divided by 2 is 60. 60 divided by 2 is 30. 30 divided by 2 is 15. Now 15, the smallest prime factor that goes into 15 is 3. It splits into 3 and 5. 5 is a prime number, so it becomes 5 and 1. I've stopped at 1. So it's going to be this row here. Okay? So it's going to be 2. There's 1, 2, 3, 2. So it's 2 to the power 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5 equals to 120. Okay, now I've written 120 as a product of its prime factors. Same thing with 150. I'm going to split this. 150 divided by 2 is going to be 75. Now, 2 doesn't go into 75, but 3 does. So I will split this into 3 and 25. 
2 and 3 don't go into 25, but 5 does. I can split this into 5 and 5. 5 is a prime factor, so it will give me 5 and 1. I've ended at 1, so I can circle my left-hand side. That's 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5. There's two five, so it will be 5 to the power 2, which is going to give me 150. Now, that's how to write it as a product of its prime factors. Make sure to write it as a product of its prime factors as your last line underneath, okay? Now, I'll show you how to group it up a bit more in the next video. But this is how to do prime factor decomposition. Thank you.